In this case, I'm given two tangents, and I need to fit a reverse curve with a reverse spiral um, to connect the two tangents. Um, so what I've done already is I've created um, two tangent elements using the horizontal elements fixed line command um, at the given locations. Um, and what I'm going to do is fit in a reverse curve with a reverse spiral in here, but I don't know um, what the length of my tangents need to be, and I don't know uh, the parameters of the curve other than the radiuses on the curves. What I can do very simply is to go to the geometry, horizontal regression, multiple element regression analysis command. And this command makes it easy to put in some initial guesses and then uh, once you get pretty close you can hit apply on the command and it'll solve the geometry for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our beginning element which is the beginning tangent and our ending element which is the ending tangent. And then we're going to add the elements in between there that we want. What I know I want is a circular curve with a radius of 500. This first one will be to the left. And I don't know what the length will be, so I'll make an initial guess of 500 feet here. Hit apply, and I'll see my element out there on the screen. My second element is I want a reverse spiral in between there, and I'll make an initial guess of 100 feet. And then I know that I want a radius on my final curve to be 250 feet. So there's our initial guess and what we can do is zoom in on that and see that um, our initial guess is not actually very good. So first thing I want to do is edit my mistake there instead of a radius of 25 I want to do a radius of 250 hit apply and actually what I think I'm going to have to do is lengthen uh, the first curve so I'm going to double click on that to edit it and increase the length to 700 for example. That does bring that up and now let's actually increase the length of our spiral to 200 and then finally let's increase the length of that 250 foot radius. We'll make it about another 50 feet. So you see that gets us pretty close to connecting. One thing we need to do maybe is shorten the length on one of these two tangents. So I'll do that. I'll um, shorten the length on my beginning element. We'll make that back down to what about 2,000 and that moved everything back and there we're getting pretty close to connection so I think uh, after with this guess here we can then free certain number of parameters and if you look in the help it'll kinda guide you through how many free parameters but I know in this situation um, we need to have um, two fixed links here and we can free up the links of our spirals and circulars here so when I hit apply notice on the advanced I'm not using regression analysis I'm just doing a connection analysis based on the geometry so when I hit apply it uh, does no solution found so I'm not quite close enough so I'm gonna hit the undo button